distance learning isn't new in Northside, but using the iPad to do it is. This year, an iPad geometry pilot program is underway with eighth graders who are two years ahead of their peers in math. At most campuses, there aren't enough students to make a full class, so going online with one teacher is much more efficient. Here's how it's done with more than 60 students spread out at 12 middle school campuses. So if you want to go home and look at those, you feel free to. I work Turning your back on your teacher is not acceptable uh, behavior in like most classes. But for the online geometry class, it's pretty typical. After all, on most days, they see their teacher on a webcam and not in person. Students are used to tuning into their iPads and tuning out the rest of the world. It's different. Very, it's, you need a, it takes some getting used to, but it's really fun. That's right. He said fun. Putting an iPad in each student's hands has upped the excitement for math. The online class is offered first period and eighth period, with teacher Matthew Patty rotating among participating middle school campuses. He uses an iPad, webcam, and mini Promethean board to broadcast lessons. Students log on to the Adobe Connect app to both see and hear him. There's a lot of really, really good projects. It's really exciting because, I mean, it's an iPad. And uh, it's really interactive because it's like an experience we've never had. Students were given the iPads to use and take home during the school year. It's how they watch lessons, submit assignments, and take tests. There's no textbook to carry, just iBooks to download. It's their responsibility to have the iPad charged each day for class. Geometry is a course that's so uh, you can see it in so many different ways and the iPad puts that in their students' hands and they can manipulate it and actually twist and turn uh, objects in, in 3D space. It's much better than just a paper and a pencil and a projector on the wall. Does it matter where S is? No. Why not? Because um, from here to here it's always the same. The okay. afternoon class involves fewer campuses, so Mr. Patty is able to teach live more often than in the morning session. Not that being in the room with students makes anything about this class traditional. I've got the students in class that I'm, I'm teaching to live, and then I've got the students that are online that I'm monitoring, and then I've got the, the chat room going on, and I check, check, check email during class. Just a lot of things going on all at once. The chat room allows real-time, back-and-forth question and answers during class. Each student also has an email account to send private questions or concerns to their teacher. It's just like I'm in the classroom and just instead of at raising their hand and asking me, they just press submit. When Mr. Patty is not teaching live at a school, the room is pretty quiet, with students wearing earbuds and staring intently at their iPad screens. The silence is broken when they turn to each other for help. There have been a few bumps as the pilot program has gotten underway, but students and teachers have learned to adapt. The challenging part is like, you know, you can't always depend on technology and it kind of sometimes doesn't work out right. But sometimes that technology comes in pretty handy. Every day I record my lessons, so if a student's absent, they can go online and watch the, today's lesson, the exact same thing, exact same thing that everyone else got. They can watch it piece by piece. Um, I had a student out for three days, she was sick, and she watched her lessons. Actually, she logged in from home on her iPad, attended class, and submitted all of her assignments. It was really cool. Students are getting used to not having a teacher standing over their shoulder, and that's actually a good thing. You don't have to stay dependent on the teacher. You have to learn by yourself. How do you think that's going to help you? Well, I guess it'll help me in life, so I have to be self-sufficient. In case you are wondering, there's always an adult in the room with the students when Mr. Patty isn't there, but it's completely up to the students to stay focused and complete their work. After this year's pilot program is complete, the district will evaluate its effectiveness before deciding if iPads could be used for future classes.